Right, this is Midnight Resistance on the ZX Spectrum. Bit of a classic arcade conversion. This this was in the days where 1990, where all the big games were arcade conversions, and this happened to be one of the best of them. Uh, this is a bit of a shoot 'em up, scroll and shoot 'em up. Uh, now some bugger, some evil maniac, he's nicked your, he's nicked your granddad, who's a weapons researcher or something, and. You're not too happy about it. He's nicked with family, so you got your grand there driving the jeep. You know, she's here to help. She don't know what she's doing. She's just happy to be out of the old uh, old folks home, really. She don't realise she's running people over. She thinks they're speed bumps. Uh... Ooh, what's going on here then? She helps you. You got to shoot people basically because you want your granddad back. These things are pissed, but there you go. All right, there. She's off now. She got to get back to her. She is grand. She's got to get back to her bingo and uh, dinner, of course. At six, it's soup today. Old oh, people love soup, don't they? Uh, they go around shoot. I mean, you're the you play the part of stereotypical Rambo type, you know, big muscles, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. So to this guy, there's so many steroids, and I don't think he can even speak. All he sort of does is goes around going, "Ah, oh, fucking have ya, fucking have ya." That's what steroids do, yeah. And there you go, look, big couple graphics, plenty of people to shoot. The good thing is, you can actually uh, see what. When people shoot it at you, you can actually see the bullets because they tend to be quite big. And the animation's good, you can, you can move your gun, it's, you, know, you, you, you know, change direction shooting. It can be a bit tricky at times. Uh, it's all pretty good stuff. Door there, can't get in, no one's own, so blast away. Holly. Now, you collect keys along the way, which you can use to buy weapons. Now, I've used the free, there's no arm any worth bothering with, I've used the three way shooter. Always helps with five, three times as many bullets at once. And that's a that's an add-on. So it helps you out. You always use it when you don't want to. Uh, this is off. You, around, you just go around actually shooting people. The scrolling's not brilliant. Uh, oh, I got shot. Yeah, he's a cunt, that guy. Now when you die, you lose all your weapons and stuff. So you got to quickly pick them up. Uh, you, you tend to, you just tend to bloody lose them all the time. You wonder why you bother, but anyway. There, I'm dead again. I haven't played this for so long, I'm a bit out of practice, that's why I'm shit, that's my excuse anyway. I'm not sure I'll complete this game, I think I've got to, uh, got to the last level, maybe not. It's quite tricky. There's no continues either, and like a lot of arcade versions, you get extra credits and to play on, but this is a bitch. It's worth knowing, I think it's a multi-load, I'm not sure. You, if, you're, if you're playing 48k, it's a multi-load, which means when you die, which you probably will die quite a bit, you've got to reload the whole game, which is a pain in the ass. This is anyway, this 128k mode, so it all loads at once. Oh, dead, I'm fucking getting fuck you! Uh, See, so you'd have to worry about the reloads. All getting tricky a bit here. Okay, down ladder we go. If people come out, you gotta, you gotta shoot them. Otherwise, oh, it's so fucking annoying that happens. Pop out of nowhere, that's the. That's the thing, it's just not. You can't turn that quick, but. Fucking hell. Rubbish. Just, just get the gun, stop the keys. Three way guns are probably the best gun in the whole game, so you don't really need anything else. Uh, well, I think you get home with yourselves later on, which is pretty good. You shoot these buggers. They've got nothing to live for anyway, so I don't mind killing them. Uh, we're getting the boss down. Oh no, hang on. Oh, this is a bit rubbish, you just shoot these, fall through the floors. I don't know what's the point, it's so easy, you never die here. Now you get to big boss guy here, there's a way of beating him without getting hit, but I probably won't be able to get there. If you start up here, where is he now? Where's the, where's the Oh bollocks, there he is anyway. That's the thing with Skull, you, you can't see anything too too late, but uh it's a good game, good graphics. Colourful anyway, uh Scrolling pissed me off a little bit. Music, it's got good music for a specky game. Uh, that's a pretty good game, I'll give it about 9 out of 10 really, because it's, well, it was actually one of the games of the year. I think this and uh, Midnight. No, uh, I mean, sorry, this is Midnight Existence. This and uh, Rainbow Islands and Sim City were the big games of the year. And this was definitely one of the top contenders. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with the name there, it's a bit rude. So. Yep, yeah, 9 out of 10.
definitely one of the best games on the spectrum. I just wish I weren't so shit at it.